An unnamed narrator frames his story by disclaiming connection to his family and country. He says that he prefers the company of the German moralist writers, whose flights of fancy he can detect and repudiate. He admits having a rigidly rational mindset, dedicated to the truth and impervious to superstition. The narrator then recounts a voyage from the island of Java upon a vessel containing cotton wool, cocoa nuts, and a few cases of opium. Soon after departure, the narrator observes a large, ominous cloud in the distance and fears the signs of an approaching simoon, or typhoon. The captain of the ship, however, dismisses the narrator's fears. As he retreats below deck, the narrator hears a loud noise and feels the ship capsizing. When the ship bobs back up, the narrator realizes that he and an old Swede are the only survivors. However, the ship remains engulfed in a whirlpool, which threatens to suck the vessel into the depths of the sea. For five days, the two men float on the shattered ship, escaping the pull of the whirlpool. They find their surroundings have grown cold, and soon complete darkness overwhelms them. Another hurricane erupts amid this darkness, and the men observe a gigantic black ship riding on the crest of a large wave. The force of this ship's descent into the water rocks the narrator's ship and hurls him onto the unknown vessel. He quickly hides in the hold, where he observes the ancient mariners on the ship speaking an unrecognizable language. Growing braver, he explores the captain's private cabin, in which he finds the paper for the present manuscript. He proposes to enclose the manuscript in a bottle and toss it to sea. The narrator then recounts a chance event in which he playfully dabbles with a tar brush on a folded sail. When spread out, the sail reads Discovery. This event causes the narrator to examine the ship more closely. He is unsure of the ship's purpose, and its timber is oddly porous. Moreover, the members of the crew seem incapable of seeing the narrator. Even the aged captain pays him no attention. The narrator continues on the ship in eternal darkness and soon discovers that it is heading due south, perhaps destined for the South Pole. As the excitement of discovery fills the crew and the narrator, the ice suddenly breaks apart to reveal a powerful whirlpool. The pull of the vortex is too powerful for the ship to resist, and it is sucked into the sea's black hole.